First of all, we're going to start to design the layout of the home screen. So if we click on design, give the screen a name. So I'm going to call the screen home because it's going to be the main page with all of our buttons on. We then need to choose a background color for our home screen. So I'm just going to go with the yellow color here. If we add a label item to the page, we can then adjust what the label text says. So I'm going to choose my app. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here and if we can set the font size just to make it a little bit bigger, make it a decent size for a title to go on your um, page. So just putting it up to about 72 size there. Okay, I'm going to just do another label object on there. I'm going to set the text of that label just to say, uh, please choose an option or choose one of the, the buttons from below or choose a page um, to let them know what to do. I can also adjust the text size on there as well, uh, if needed. Okay, and then if we just move that into the middle, the next thing I'm going to do is to add those buttons onto the page. So the buttons are what people are going to click on to get to the different pages. If I just expand the button out like this, now it's really important that you're naming those buttons. That'll come later when we do the coding part. So I'm just going to call this button page one. Um, because it'll link to page one. I'm going to set the button text to page one as well. Okay, so I've added the second button now. And again, it's really, really vitally important that we don't just leave it as button two. Uh, that button is renamed to uh, page two as well, so that we know where it's going to link to later. So page two on here, and also the button text too. So then we will add our third and final button, which will link to page three. So remembering to set the ID and the uh, button text as well. Okay. You can line them up together if you want, just to make sure that they're the right size. Adjust the width, adjust the height, adjust the lineup if you need to. And then just don't forget to name it, uh, just like you did with the other one, setting that button ID and button text. Okay, so now that we've got our main uh, page, we're going to click on the drop down menu and new screen to create the screens that it will link to. So I'm going to call this one P1 for page one. Uh, I'm going to set the background color. Now, a little tip if you want to set it the same as the home page, highlight your background color on here, then change back to your new screen. And if you paste it in there, you'll get exactly the same color there. So, what we'll do is we'll just put a text label on so that we've got a title up there. So I'll just call it page one and I'll adjust the size uh, so that it fills the top of the page just by adjusting the, uh, the font size on here. So it'll say page one. So we'll have a little look in a sec. We'll go from our home page to our page one and then we're gonna make a further two pages. So if we just go back now and I'll show you the two different ones. We've got our page one there and we've got the home page now. Now you can't see this but I'm going to go on to page one and over the right hand side of your screen, there is an option that says duplicate. If you click on that, it will duplicate your page one. Uh, so all that's left for you to do is to rename it. Click on the background. We'll call that P2, page two. Uh, we'll also paste that color in to make it yellow. We'll click on the label and we'll make that label say page two instead of page one. And dead quickly now, we've got our home page, we've got our page one, and we've got our page two. So we'll repeat that process again. This is slightly off screen. You can't see the duplicate button, but I've just clicked duplicate. I've got a new plate page. I'm going to set the ID to P3. I'm going to paste that background color in, and I'm then going to just adjust my label so that the uh, P3 page has got the label of page three at the top so it's page one page two page three and yeah i just need to adjust that label now so i'll adjust that to uh, page three move it across if needed
We're now ready to debate the part where if you click on those buttons, it actually links you to the page. So back on your home page, if you drag out this on event block of code, you're on the code section here. If you choose on this uh, option, if we choose, um, where is it? If we choose page one, that means if you click on the page one button, do this. And the do this is going to be to set the screen to the screen P1. Now remember we named those screens earlier, so that's really important why you name those correctly. If I click on this page one now, it'll jump to my page one screen. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same with the other buttons. We're gonna drag out an on event block. We're gonna make it so that if the page two button is clicked, it will set screen to P2, jumping to the P2 screen. And exactly the same thing will be needed for the P3 screen. So it's just a case of reusing that block three times with a different button and a different screen that it links to. Okay, you can then test your app from the home screen. You should be able to click on page two, reset it, just try it again. Check the P3, we'll take you to page three. Finally, we need a way of getting back from P1, P2 and P3 back to the main screen. So I'm going to go on to P1, page one. I'm going to drag out another button object here. And I'm just going to give that button an ID so that when we click on it, it'll know what to do. So I'm going to call that button uh, back home. So I'm going to set the button text to home just to take you back to the home page. Uh, and then if I go onto code, I can set the in exact the same way. There's nothing new here. We go to on event. We set it so that if that back home button is pressed, it will go to set screen and then home. Okay, so I'll just test that out from the home page. Go to page one, check that back button will take me back to where it is supposed to go. Okay, so obviously the page two and page three don't have that on them at the moment. So what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna click on that button and remember that duplicate button over to the right. Um, you're, so you're gonna use the copy to um, button and make it copy to screen two to page two. Again, you can't really see that properly at the moment, uh, but it'll be obvious when you're you're doing it. So we then need to make sure that they actually work for the other pages. So part of doing that involves renaming them. So I'm going to call it on page two. Uh, I'm going to give it a different name to the original one. I'm going to call this one back home two. And then if I go on to P3, I'm going to call it back home three. Okay, so we then need to um, go back to the code section and just um, set what happens when you click those buttons. So the back home button on page one will take you back home. We now need to set that code for the other two pages. So if you click on back home two, it goes back to the home screen. And if you click on back home three, it goes back to the home screen. So there's actually nothing new here. It's exactly the same, but you're just naming button uh, back home two and back home three because they are different buttons on different pages of the app. So it should be fairly straightforward to add that on to make it go uh, back home from those three additional pages. So once we've set that, we can then test the app, which we will do in a sec. Okay, so you can see page one, back to home, page three, back to home, and we did it with page two a minute ago.